How you doing, man? My day started today, 6.30 in the morning. Lisa's waking me up. Tommy, Tommy, your car's blinking. I'm like, what? What? I just had a dream, you know? I was just winning at magic in my dream. I was a Viking dying for Valhalla against Russian tanks. And apparently someone uh, tried to... Did something to my car at night. Like, kicked it or I don't know. But My name is Nathaniel. I'm 27 years old. And I'm in a serious relationship with my car. Morning, baby. Handsome man. My alarm was on, so it was blinking all night. Bling, bling, and I had to go out and turn it off. They're, they're touching my car a lot, man. Like, like... Love you, baby. I know it sounds awkward, but my, my car is getting touched so often. I just had a tweet two weeks ago how people touched my car and stole the letters off my car. Now they're kicking it at night and shit. It's just... Well... Maybe I still feel Japan. I don't know, do I? But we'll play Japan. I'm not gonna fucking be warmonger Japan. And the thing is, fascist and authoritarian Japan doesn't interest me, Chad. It doesn't interest me. I played that million times. So it's either communist Japan or democrat Japan. <sighs> I feel I'm feeling Japan, I wanna be honest. Yeah! Doing anything that's not fascist, just willingly cocking yourself, that's a big problem in Focus 3. Uh, very well said by you. If you don't do fascist, you re you really become weak. It's like with Russia. I mean, Russia doesn't stay communist, you get weaker. And then you die to Hitler Germany. But it's after all a roleplay game. I'm not here to show, oh, look at my epic fascist Japan, man. The problem is you have to, like, already decide. Because there's no... Your industry focuses are stuck behind it. I have to already decide what I want to do, man. <laughs> Greetings here, Leto. This is Fuji from the Loyal Empire from Shua. I'm asking for the future plan of Jihai and the future of my people. My Shunya is a great public state of Ken. As long as you remain loyal, Japanese echo and support will find you. I've heard though, there is problems within the Japanese, Japanese students. Charles. Communist Japan. I've never did that before. The German Heights likes to send a deal about your cruiser subs. Japan has no problem sending cruiser submarine plans to Germans. The price of two solid factories. Ah, Hitler is planning something. I already have massive information about the Nazis. So once again, you see in this mod that if you don't go the basic way, you actually hurt your country. Like, uh, my PP doesn't go to free trade and stuff. My PP goes into taking uh, communist advice. Really don't know. Oh, five sifts, man. Hey, man, be my guest, Germany. You're very welcome to pay for that. Where it goes. So already, I, I think the opener should always be to get the 25 PP bonus. It's just very strong. Can we get three sifts back? Mongol United Autonomous Government just joined us. So now I take the communist guy, Sanso Nozoka. Let's make Hitler wait a bit because I get five sips at the moment. Let's play him a bit. Ten stability Manchuko exchange generals. If Manchuko accepts the following, what will happen? Uh, I'm gonna ghost Hitler a bit here. We're just gonna like, uh huh? What are you talking about? What? Sorry, sir. My engineers did not inform me that this legendary land actually costs lots of money. It's important to pay the full price, or I will have possible worker uprisings on the docks. Dude, I'm literally role playing now, becoming communist because of the submarine. That's. We shall set the back. Sorry, because we see the true face of Japanese business. Well, now the workers are really gonna rise up. Japanese workers are mad at the emperor for fucking a possible submarine deal with Germany. Communist threat of Asia is unacceptable and must be dealt with any cost. China and the world must stand united. Mm. The Russia literally stands with the Chinese neighbors. Okay, they're starting. Did he just make Kazakhstan? He just made Russia. Just made Kazakhstan. He just gave a player Mustafa Kemal Pasha. Gentlemen, we have enough. We have a Kazakhstan to celebrate the first ever live on stream Kazakhstan. We're playing the national anthem of Kazakhstan. This is an epic meme, epic joke. I'm really a funny guy. I know you don't have to tell me. Welcome. And now it's Turkestan! We got played! We got played as Turkestan all of a sudden. And he joined Russia. And he has a Hitler stash. What the fuck is happening? Send a letter to Mao. Dear Chairman, we hope this letter finds you well. My name is Kuro Zaki Ichigo, and I represent the Japanese student movement. We just want to let you know. We are defense of you and your doctrines. Thank you for the letter, Comrade. We will be very interested in cooperating with you in the future with our condition. One channel of all of China, no warlords and no foreign colonies. At the moment, I might just be a mere student, but we can agree with this under the rule of an alliance and to great agreements and Japanese um, overlordship over Indo China. Dude, a little student is, all make, is making deals with Mao Zedong over here, man. <laughs> Let, let me try to stir up drama and roleplay. I want to roleplay. Let's have fun and roleplay. <laughs> Fucking... Let, let's bring roleplay to the next level. I'm kind of against him, but now I'm helping him just to have funny things, man. I'm, I'm literally... There, there, there's a leaker in the student movement, and he just leaked a letter to uh, Puji that uh, Mao is against him. <laughs> Fucking why not? It's funny. We do a little trolling. It's called We Do a Little Trolling. Comrade Puji has a claim over China, you better take care of that. Oh, how did he fucking do that? 
How did he find out? What? I think you you lose half your fleet and a shit ton of sips in this war. If I remember, didn't do this in a while. Wait, didn't I instantly window? It says if you take Tokyo, you won. I just took Tokyo. You clear one Korea? Yes. Russian. Oh, I have to actually rotate this, but I'm too busy. I'm too busy. The fascist fleet to Manchuria. Whoa, that was he. <laughs> What's up? That was a blitzkrieg. Oh shit, I have to go to Korea. Yeah, the fleet has been decimated heavily, man. Oh man, you don't have a lead. <laughs> you don't have a communist. Oh god, communists are so bad. Okay, and I hope I can finish Korea quickly, man. That'll be nice. The legend, the six hour war. See how people react to these news? That was actually a communist. Uh, that was a fucking blitzkrieg, man. So yeah, I lost uh, six Sith and half my navy and most of my army. The civil war hurts badly, dude. It really does. Oh god, please, please land. This is actually so important that I land here. Popular for roleplay. I'm gonna uh, occupy Korea because, man, my industry is so trash like this. I gotta do something, man. Otherwise, my game is just over. Russia landed. Very well done, man. The legendary Turkestan. Turkestan Kaya Gono Strike. Oh, fuck Russia, man. This Korea is strong, Alter. Korea ain't no fucking joke, man. Alter Schwede. Well, how many divisions does Korea have? A a excuse me? Good job, Russia, man. Russia doing great, man. He's a big help here. I will not forget that. It's roleplay and Russia helped. I will not forget what Russia did for us here today. But in what type of game do you have a Korea war? That never happened. He did he just kill the Germans? Dude, Russia has my interesting game. Yeah, it's roleplay games are so fun, man. Because everything is so different. But now you see, right, you can't kill China with a communist Japan. You're so weak. Maybe later, but this is not easy. Just want to really focus on industry because I almost have none. Man, these Russians deserve. Oh, the Germans are holding Seoul. Okay. They want to play it like this, the Germans. Let's go. You could release Kim Il-sung. I, I have to uh, unite the industry of Korea under me. Let's be honest. This is also great roleplay once again. I kind of shit on Germany for Sifs, and now he shits on me with, uh, with Seoul, I think. This is actually so cool, man. But man, who can say that you ever had a Korea war? Japan and Russia versus Germany and Korea. That, that never really happened. Right, we are now overwhelming the Korean forces. But good war, man. That was fun. That was just fun. Communism seems to be ultra strong already. I would really urge all the stream snipers right now to not go communist. Germans are uncircled finally. And they should slowly be de orked to death. What does officer training do? Uh, plus one stats to all... I have to pay attention. Sorry, my ADHD is too hard right now. Okay, time to chill, man. Jesus Christ. So, Puji wants a meeting. I'm actually quite busy, man. I don't want to talk to Puji, man. Puji is gonna go down. There will be no fascists in, in, in Manchuria, man. I gotta take him down. There's gonna be no deal. I'm not gonna have a fascist sitting here. It's not happening, dude. If I exile them, I get massive bonuses. But the Imperial family goes to Rico, okay? I actually gave Rico these bonuses. <laughs> what? Oh, I gave him a massive bonuses. And Mao is just going ham on everybody. We have a call list. It's interesting how often these games France and uh, Spain are friends. The Great Perch. So he's Stalin. He's staying with Stalin. Man, that's a very, very... That's very, very communist. The world is very communist. So I'm sending the boys to Pyongyang in case Puji wants to do some dumb shit. Damn, I sure announced that Puji is the new Japanese emperor and with him we will unite Japanese once more. Whoa! What? Oh my god, man. What? Yo, man. Puji talking some mad shit. Damn, Puji, are you sure about that? By the way, don't forget to take this, Tommy. And in a sec, I boost my PP to 4.5 without taking focuses. And that should rush me through economics and free trade. And now, stop taking focuses. That makes so much sense. I'm ready to fight Puji if I want to. And now I get infinite fucking stability, man. I can't afford to stay in economics too long. I think a big issue I always have is I stay with economics too long. Like, that's enough, Sif. Stop, stop after this, Tommy. So that's the plan. I'm kind of making a plan like a communist. We still need communism. Ugh. This free trade, all economics, no more sifts. Listen, peasants, we give you the rare chance to lay on arms and rejoin the Japanese Empire. You don't that we need no blood anymore. Join me and I will give you the workers more rights. Straight up ignore that. Five? Why? Oh, because the 20% applies, yeah. I'm making five political power. So I'm rushing through economics now. The focus tree is just doesn't matter to me right now. Obviously, the air tree is interesting. And supremacy of will is so sick, man. Supremacy of will, one of the best focuses in Hoi 4. My fellow Asian, we have not addressed each other directly ever since the people took the reins from the emperor. We shall speak about global climate of future relationship. Oh, <laughs> Konnichiwa, My friend, uh, hello. 
How are you doing? This is, uh, I have this to is, tell you. This is Ken Kai Shek, indeed. Yes. Oh. This is, uh, this is me. To, I had a lot of resistance in my party visiting you in Nanjing here. I don't think you and me have much common ground, but I still wonder what you have to say. No, my friend, uh, I would like to speak to you about a certain thing. As you can see, uh, you were allied with an unrecognized global state called the Chinese Soviet Republic. At the moment, there is no knowledge and no documents proving any uh, allegiance between Japan and Mr. Mao. Where well, did you get that you're information not online, from? my friend, I'm assuming you will not interfere in a rebellious Chinese state. As you said, you have no qualms in the region. You do not recognize them at all. Who they are, oh, I did friend. not say that. True. Nakama! My friend, you just say that! that. My Listen. friend, you not raise your voice against me! I am done with white! Listen, with Japanese God. world and FIFA! Do not raise your voice against me! Keep it down! Peace will be maintained! Mao Zedong follows our same ideology. He's liberating the people of the warlords. We have no quarrel with him. But we have a quarrel with capitalist US puppets. Recent papers of the Hong Kong Times have shown the USA has massive rights with your country, sir. So if you ask me if I would intervene in a possible Chinese super war. Oh, brother. Daijubu, I will. If you realize that communism is a Western ideal, you are a hypocritical nation, my friend. You are a hypocritical nation. Communism is an ideal chosen by the people of Japan. It might have started in the West, but our ideals are strong. You must ask yourself, Mr. Sheikh, if your ideals are strong, if you sell out to American capitalists so quickly. Well, Mr. Sheikh, we have not common ground to your Daijubuta Nandastuka. But I urge you, Mr. Sheikh, to not support in any way the false king of Japan, Mr. Puji, up in the north. Hello? Shinra Tensei. Don't listen to him. Who is this? Mr. Uh, Mr. People's Bankai. Republic of Japan. Who is this? I must support him. If he falls, Who is that? China. The, uh, the rebel. This is Chairman Mao. Oh! He's a rebel! Nakamada! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! this man! You better fucking run! Oh! I have to run up! <laughs> I know, my is friend. shooting over? You invaded rightful land. Yes, yes, the shooting is over. Oh, 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 what the fuck is going on here? Uh, this self-proclaimed emperor is claiming territory from me. What, the false emperor of Japan is claiming stuff? Ha! <laughs> Yurora! Yes. I want you to rejoin and accept me as a true emperor. Hirohito is dead. And the consul elected me as a true emperor of Japan. <laughs> You think people died in the streets of Tokyo to establish this regime to just come back under the rule of a false king? <laughs> you must take uh, the more than enough. You just killed, uh, you kill just Hirohito, X a backstab, and then you close the war. You n you not make war uh, in the field of honor. All I hear Welcome. is clouds coming from your mouth, but the tiger does not concern himself with the opinion of. Sh Sheep clouds. I wish you great fortune in the wars to come, Pooji. This war is gonna be massive, and I think I have to win it with air. It's so addicting, man. There must be. Oh. Oh. Okay. Maybe I have to militarize faster than I thought. Iberia has been formed ultra early, man. Damn, people are really allowed to go to early wars. Who is running up 36 divisions, Aldo? But they're trash, they're trash. This right here, that is fucking Japanese fucking uh, Sony PlayStation technology. And now a real Japanese guy from a really big Japanese company. I'm a Japanese guy, PlayStation. Oh, it's a really great game. Bitching is Bitching. It's fun to say bitching. Bitching. Let me get into the same channel as Mao. China is prepared. Not as strong as I thought. No air force, but our technologically advanced army stand ready. Uh, I feel very bad uh, with our current situation with Mr. Sheikh. That doesn't sound good, man. You're making me feel like... Yes. Dude, Sheikh has fucking the UK and probably well, US volunteers or something. Comrade Tokuda, do you have any specific plans for the war? Anything you think I should know? I couldn't tell you much. I will obviously try to break inside Manchuria and uh, take him down quickly. Other than that, I don't really have any other ideas what I should do. I can, say, I can tell you that currently he concentrated, I think, a vast majority of his army on my border. Oh, I, I was about to say he's doing it on my border, man. My Akatsuki cores tell me that they're not that strong. That's great to know. Well, my divisions aren't very strong either, so we 
we are going to rely on your army. Well, then maybe try the to be defensive. Group. Try to be defensive about this. A bit. Yes. Mate, mate, mate. Uh, yes, yes. He's I can just pulled his entire army away from me to you. But if he attacks you, I'm attacking him. So he's got to be careful about that. Uh, he also pulled his entire army from my border. Maybe he's trying to scheme something. He also built a wall against me. Something. He now built a wall against me. They must be trash army. What? They're insanely good? How? What? How can you afford that? Ex the justification from Manchuria is ready. Yo, I'm really shocked. Or Maybe he got my like army, that. yeah. Oh my, hey, dude, we have to chill a bit. Time is on our side. Alter, he's, I'm not gonna beat yeah. that. Yeah, what? I think he stole your army when the civil Why war started. White Russian exiles. Okay, boys. Ay, 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 ay. Holy shit, his army is insane. I need to really stack bonuses, man. That is some strong fucking Puji, Aldon. How the fuck do you get an army like that, man? Whoa! Did he got my whole air force too, man? Fuck. Oh, fuck off, Aldon. Massive support from Aldon. The, the, the Swiss support is massive. 10k guns. Okay, he has infinite guns. Holy crap, this war is gonna be insane, man. He's getting help from everyone, and he just reinforced. He's getting infinite equipment. But how is the equipment arriving if I fucking use um, submarines like this? Man, I actually have to fight for my life against a fucking Puji, man. But that's so cool about these roleplay games. It's something different, man. This Puji is better equipped than a fucking Germany, man. Puji, the Prussia of Asia. I guess he gets that from the Civil War. That's why it's like that. I thought we're gonna we're gonna fucking lose this war, man. And how does a Poochie have this much stuff for this? It's like I never played Hoi 4 before. You cannot be this strong. You're a Poochie, man. Привет. Uh, my name is Alexander um, Krirol. I'm the first uh, Major General from the Great Emperor Puyi. There's nothing Puyi to talk, to man. Surrender your arms. Nope. This is your last chance. Nope. Puyi is the true samurai of the seas. Accept his rule or die by his sword. Ready Goodbye. to die. Stability hurts, which which comes from the decision to um, to go communist. But it's okay. I think this is a very fair fight, man. If I lose, I lose. I'm having fun, man. I feel alive in Hoi 4. That doesn't happen in it forever. Well, the pressure is getting relentless now for him. The pressure is getting massive now. God, I'm having so much fun, man. I didn't feel this alive in Hoi 4 in a long time. Beautiful encirclement here. Pull something off. Keeping that beautiful Russia, man. Well done by him. Time is on my side. Equipment is being shipped. Indian agent. I don't know. You guys really... But that means I get uh, stability back. You see, foreign propaganda took 7% stability. Dude, even the Indians are on me. I think what this this game has been high level high four because my long term investments are now paying off. The long term PP and economic investments. I'm going to die. Hey, Shekel, don't die. Hold you. Dude, Shekel, you don't die right now. No. Shekel, you don't die right now. No. I do not allow to die. You're not allowed to die, Shekel. Mountains are fine, but west is falling. What do you mean west is falling? This? And just stay in these mountains, man. In the end, just have a circle in Yanan or something. What a game, man. Dude, Shekel, just try to hold as much as you can. Dude. Satrician is going to death though. He's he he doesn't have the sifts to repair his uh, railways and now he's slowly rotting to death. You know like these movies when someone has too much power and the power kills him from within? This is what's happening to him right now. He's starting to crumble. You can start seeing the cracks. Wait, he has actually he has the Japanese navy with carriers? I loiter. He has the Japanese fleet with carriers. And here come the Chinese. <laughs> Alter Leute. Uh, I'm a negative 40k gun, so why not gonna hold on for much longer? Ah, yeah. Well, you tried your best, man. This is just a bit broken, I feel. Him stealing your army shit and me having to 1v1 a nationalist China is kinda... Krakow's gonna die now and then I have to fight all of China. And then I'm actually kinda... Reaching my limit. Like this right here makes no sense. That 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 makes no sense. One thousand defense against hundred and nine and six break run. He still wins. That is. What am I missing? Pressure man. Pressure man. He has broken bullshit, but we have to fucking IQ. Pressure, pressure. Just pressure him. Pressure, pressure, pressure. I'm so fucking tired of this broken bullshit here, man. No more. I'm done. Let's play the game, Rico. You wanna play? You wanna play the game? Let's play the game. No issue with me, Rico. Son. Ah, and the moment I say that, China comes for F. me. <laughs> F, man, you tried. Oh, now China comes. <laughs> okay. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. Ah, here comes all of China. Well, uh, GG. That's GG, boys. That's GG. He has. He stands on one infrastructure with a full Chinese army, zero attrition. He just keeps his airplanes on me and... Yo, doesn't... Tommy, um, uh, I did a fucking mistake and I apologize for that because I didn't need it. Did you have asymmetrical warfare, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm losing my brain over here, did you fuck? Oh, yeah, yeah, because I thought um, I'm basically not a Chinese nation because I started puppet as uh, Japan. And then I got the event when you uh, surrendered. Um, 
I get the event, uh, uh, I get all of your navy and stuff. It's fucking crazy. I didn't knew that. Yeah, I, that's okay. But you have, do you have like asymmetrical? Say, it's, yeah, you have yeah. It's something that's... Totally, you know it's banned for Chinese nation, so oh. Quickly to explain what happened is that he took a doctrine called asymmetrical warfare. You can't really see it because of Tommy's face. But that's banned for Chinese miners, and Machuko is also considered a Chinese miner, but he didn't think it was, so he broke rule there. And then another reason why the army is so strong is because there's an event where, like, the Japanese uh, exiled and fascists or whatever, that you exile at the beginning of the game, they all go to Manchuria, so Manchuria is kind of the continuation of the Japanese Empire. I don't think Tommy realized that, so he had, like, half of his army. So basically, Communist Japan is hard mode. It's actual just Japan hard mode. It's really, like, not good. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck, hey, you made me die wars. a year it's earlier. Still, it's still, still a great war, man. Good war, man. Eh? About the airplanes, my friend, I get so much from uh, US. Yeah, the thing is, um, after I get all of your airplane, all of your navy, so I had like 500, 600 planes at the beginning. Uh, so I apologize, that was, man. That was good, man. I didn't know that. Hey, after all, chat, first of all, I was right the whole time. So I knew the whole time something was off. I knew the whole time something was off. These and uh, also, I, uh, Swiss spies, uh, I, I paid Swiss spies to fuck with your stability. Is it coming back? Uh, are you fixed it? I think so. I, I paid them six civilian factories. So they did yeah, they job. did 11% stability damage. I just wonder if that comes oh, back. Oh, worthy, worthy. So, uh, you guys making a peace deal? Uh, I have no idea. No, never. Never. No. Why not, man? Come on. No more lives need to die. What, first I'm uh, fighting something that's broken and actually against rules and now I'm supposed to give up? Fuck it, I'm, I am keep fighting. I know that I, I was not going to support uh, Fin Tiang breaking of the Geneva Convention if I had known. I, I'm truly sorry about that. Uh, okay, well, a, a, anyway. It's a doctrine I, from I the Marx. It's not Vanilla. To in South America, so I'll it gives leave you really it good to defense. you two to hash it out. Well, I, I can no longer yet. support you considering you broke the Geneva Convention. And we oh, are a democratic well, state that supports freedom. It. Well, anyway. Mr. Roosevelt is going to wheel his way out of here, and uh, I will see all of you later. Oh man, well, obviously Purin wants me to check that. The Arab Caliphate, damn, good job man. I was kind of busy, I couldn't watch. Uh, the Arab Caliphate is gone. Oh, he just took it for a second to form that. So it wasn't even real Purin, it wasn't even real. And there we go. Do you really think like you deserve to navel and wait after rule breaks like this? I, I don't know, man. Really? He does some nice kills. Not that he mad and cares. He has infinite shit anyway. Plus five orc in 62 days. I cannot be better than this. I, I can't play better than this. It's n not possible. Come on. He's actually taking Nagasaki with that bullshit, man. Oh, so stupid. Eh? He just holds. He just holds. Doesn't even matter. This is so dumb, eh? And at first you fucking break rules and then you just keep invading him anyway, man. A little bit of respect? Nah, why would you show any respect? I, 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 I almost can't be more technologically advanced than this. It's almost impossible to have to be stronger than this, man. Like, uh, what the fuck, I don't know. Hey, this is, this is unplayable, man. There's no skill wolf. This is just... Soviets? I feel like I can do this on my own. But also I could just shit on them for what they did to me. I can't do this on my own. I can do this on my own. I really believe that. Swedish tanks now? Fuck off, I thought. It's it's about my wieder gut, man. At some point, man, you gotta first I'm getting cheated on, and now you think it's clever to send Swedish tanks, man? Also, a little bit of game sense, a little bit of fucking respect to a game, man. If they didn't take these doctrines, they'd be dead 20 times already, man. Are you panicking, huh? Panicking? Full air, fully decrypted, man. Not even good Chinese divisions. Oh, this is the dumbest shit in the world, man. Hey, Leute. It's not a win, he's just giving up, man. What else? What are you doing, Rico, man? My whole four just shut down. I agreed? Wait, did I actually press something wrong? I actually agreed to something? Re, I didn't see that. It's my fault? I mean, but why do you send it to me, you know? I just accepted everything. <sighs> but interesting to know that if you go communist Japan, you actually give everything you have to fucking uh, Fuji, I thought. Oh man, what a mess. What a, what a, what a... What a big mess. 
The thing is though that after all I still had fun. I actually still had fun. He lives in Thailand now. Once again, for everyone to understand, two times. Hello, uh, people, yeah, well, my friend. It is Would forbidden you, uh, me, Shek. to take this uh, doctrine. My ally just uh, decided to give up, I think, and uh, turn over all the territories to Japan. I think he went to the International Court and then Hardcore War Crimes. Let's finish this again. Let's, let's get a finish on this, guys. Yeah, I'm just exhausted. Yeah, it's and crazy how strong food you can be you get for free the whole... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, will, I will never touch Communist Japan again. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, it's very fun to play, but you're gonna cock like, for every focus. And you know what was so crazy about this game? Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like this, this entire game, I, I played perfect. I did perfect decision-making, economy, maybe the strikes, yeah, but... You know, imagine you play perfect, you just, you just get shit. Imagine you train boxing for 10 years and then you box some random guy and he just destroys you in a second. What happened in the world anyway? So, so what happened in the world? So let's, I didn't pay attention to the game because I was so mad. We have the Rome Protocol, Italy, Spain and Arabia looking great. We have the Allies. The UK has always been staying Allies lately. North America, Stockholm Assistance Treaty and Central Powers. And they're just shitting on Russia right now. After all, still a good game. I don't want to. I don't want to talk too much shit. This was a really fun game. But man, I, I wonder why. What I wonder is, roleplay games were kind of dead back in the past. You know, roleplay games were dead. In a weird way, roleplay games are back now, and I don't know why. What changed? Less toxic people now, I guess. Less idiots. That's probably because no memers and stuff. So I think we really uh, owe a shout out to the community on Discord, like people like Hebe and stuff, working in this community and really like banning people that break rules and stuff, and are slowly creating. A great community and we all glory to these people man they do all the work man i'm just a streamer man my shinra tenseis man they're not losing man they didn't lose today Mwah, the shinra tensei greatest division of hoi 4 but they had a very hard time today like, i always loved the china war man that was always my favorite thing in hoi 4. i actually wouldn't mind playing japan in a competitive game one uh, soon I, I always enjoy japan and competitive so much if you consider japan here's a guide if you want to breeze through it if you're considering japan wait 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 stop stop everything stop everything did this guy just really do that? No, no, no. If you consider Japan, here's the guide of... It didn't just send the legendary top... That is the craziest thing ever happened. Are, are you insane? He just went to Lionel Messi. Hey, if you want to ever start football, here's the little guide. <laughs> what? Come on, man. Guys, I'm gonna call it here. I have to go to bed. It's late. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's actually not nice. I don't think it's nice if I leave. The game seems over though, and, I'm, and I've been cheated on. I've been cheated on. I'm calling it. I'm sorry, man. The Hoi 4 game was obviously very, very scuffed. But you know what? I still had fun. It exhausted me, but it was fun, man. Proof myself against uh, a banned doctrine. Thank you for the support, man. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for everything. Nothing but love. Stay healthy. Sayonara, minasan.